the last video of this chapter and we're gonna focus on it's not fair if the rules aren't fair. Now it's mainly based on symmetry principle and symmetry principle is the requirement that people in similar situations be treated similarly. Behave towards other people in the way you expect them to behave towards you. In economic life this principle translates to equality of opportunity. Robert Nozick, uh, this guy that I don't even know who he is actually, he suggests fairness to be based on two rules. I think he's an economist or something. Oh, I can search him up. Uh, yeah, he suggests fairness to be based on two rules. The first rule is the state must enforce laws that establish and protect private property. The second rule is private property may be transferred from one person to another only by voluntary exchange. The first rule says everything that is valuable must be owned by individuals and that the state must ensure theft is pre prevented. The second rule says that the only legitimate way a person can acquire property is to buy it in exchange for something else that the person owns. If these rules, uh, which, we consider, which they consider as fair rules, are followed, then the result is fair. The idea is, it doesn't matter how unequally the economic pie is shared. Each person who voluntarily provides services get a share of the pie offered in compensation. The rules satisfy the symmetry principle. If the rules are not followed, symmetry principle is broken. So let's take a look at these two uh, points. When some goods are not owned, they are common property. If a contest would begin for it, and if the winner gets it and officially owns it and prevents the enjoyment of it to others, then this would break the symmetry principle. And involuntarily tra invo involuntary transfer or theft, when we do not agree to transfer ownership of something voluntarily, uh, that is another situation that breaks uh, symmetry principle. So both situations violate the symmetry principle. Only the strong acquire their wants, the weak ends up with the resources and goods not wanted by the strong. So the weak are left with the leftovers. But if the two rules that we state here that we're about Robert Nozick states are followed. Everyone, strong and weak, are treated in a similar way, and that's the idea. If fa fairness and, and efficiency. So the idea of that is if symmetry principle is enforced and followed, and there are no obstacles to efficiency, and we went through that here, if there are no obstacles to efficiency, then the resulting distribution of income and wealth will be fair. And uh, that's all that I want to go through in this video. What you, you what you should really focus on is the two, uh, the two rules and and um, the two, two, two examples that can break these two symmetry. Uh, these, well, two examples that can break the symmetry rule, which are these two that I just went through. Uh, other than that, that's all. Uh, there is about. Uh, it's not fair if the rules aren't fair. It's not really that important, but. Uh, I guess you should know the symmetry principle, the rule, the two rules of the symmetry principle, and the two examples that would break the symmetry principle. Other than that, uh, that this is the end of this chapter. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time for the next chapter. Thanks for watching.